Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about relationships in the Power BI. First of all, what is the relationships and what is their purpose in the Power BI? Let us say, when you import uh, a couple of tables into the Power BI desktop, it means that you are going to do some uh, data analysis or some visualizations you are looking on the top of those tables. Now, if you go to the relationships between those tables, those are really necessary in order to get the accurate the calculation results and display the correct information in the reports. And so, and here the Power BI desktop automatically detects the relationship between the tables if the table have the same column and the data type so in in fact you in most of the cases you won't need to do anything here it automatically detects or yes you have a flexibility to arrange the relationship between the tables manually so before going to show you the Power BI relationships window. Let me show you what are all the tables which I am planning to use in my example. So if you see this Excel sheet, so this Excel sheet having the employee table information. So this is the employee. First one is the employee table information. Second one is the. So this is the employee table information. So this is the department table information. So if you see here, employee table contains ID employee employee name, salary, joining date and department, only department DEPT. If you come to the department table, here you have a department number and department name. So there is no common column between this employee table and department table. But by looking at this data as a user, you can understand. But my system won't be able to understand because of the value change here because of the column name change. Okay, so in this scenario, you need to do the manual link between these two tables and how to link it just you will be simply selecting this column and you will be dragging and dropping like this it means that so there is a relationship between these two tables even though column names are not the same by any chance if you see so there is a, a column name let us say here if you have a department number out here also department number so then obviously yes so this department number and this department number is same equal in the names then my power bi desktop is little intelligent it automatically detects and it automatically links these two tables so that time we can simply say so those are all in the relationships then you don't need to do anything in this scenario then later you can talk about so relationship between is one to one or many to one so what is one to one and many to one if you see here, here I have a department number is uh, 10 and here I have multiple 10s so here, here, here. Okay, means so the, if you take this is the first table. So if it is a second table, then you can if, if there is a link like this, then many to one many instance of department number in the first table and the single instance of department number in the second table. Here it is many to one. Now let's go for 20. So here 20 is here, then here. And yeah, for 20, there is only one instance, but still I cannot call it as one to one because so for 10, it is multiple values are there in the first table means that many to one. So there are some scenarios where you will be having one to one. It means that so you have a 10 here, you will be having only one 10 employee. So 120 employee, 130 employee and 140 employee. If you have only four records in the employee table and four records in the department table, assume it but for the employee department relation one to one is not possible okay assume it so in that scenario that time we can call it as a one to one relationships so this is what relationship concept in the power bi or in general let me show you how to work with these in the power bi desktop so these two tables are there in my sql server SQL Server uh, uh, sample database. So these are the two tables I have department table and employee table. So now let me go to the Power BI desktop. Let me load those. So we already talked about how to load the data from the SQL Server. 
let's select the get data and you can select here sql server so once you select the sql server it may ask you what is your server name so my server name is dot slash sql 2012 if your server name is dot you can select that you can keep that value in the server box once you click on ok it will show you the list of databases under your database under your server so now let's select the sample let's expand the sample database and here you can select what are all the tables you are planning to get it into your you are planning to load into your um, destination uh, or power bi desktop so here if you see this i selected employee table so if you see i have um, so department i don't have a department number full spelling okay now if you come here let me take a department here so i have a department number if you see so the spelling between that department and department number is different it means that so there is no auto detect happens in my example so intentionally i kept the change in the names to talk about relationships manual relationships if there is a name is same in between those two tables then my power bi is intelligent i told you it automatically detects the relationship between those two tables now once selection is done let me click on load i just clicked on load it may take a while based on the data size So it is loading now so if you see here i have a employee a department a table data set and employee data set in the field section now let me see do i have any relationship between these two tables so where can i see in the left side i have a three icons one for report so one for uh, data one for uh, relationships so i can see here what are all the relationships exist between the tables if there are any so as of now in my example i should not see any relationship between these two tables because there is no common name between the tables so here i can manually here i can manually take this and i can link this that is how i can do in one way the other way is i'll tell you how to do the how to establish a relationship between two tables when you have a different names but as of now so there is no relationship established between these two tables because there is a change in the column name between the tables now let's come back to the reports window in the top in the menu icon you have a manage relationships so this is the one which will help us to establish a relationship between the tables it will help us to add the relation it will help us to edit or it will help us to remove the relationship between the tables now let me click on that icon so once i click on that icon i'll get the manage relationships window so this is a place where i need to establish a relationship between the tables now let me click on new so once i click on new it will ask you what is your first table and what is your uh, second table so let me select the first table as either department or employee either is fine so once i select the department uh, first table then obviously yes, if i have only one table I have only two tables the other table automatically comes in the second uh, box so here i selected employee table then other automatically here it will automatically come so because of i have only one table if i have multiple tables then i might need to select the respective tables then what i need to do here so how to establish similarly as i told you select the column name in the employee table and parallelly in immediate next select the department number in the department table it means that you are establishing a relationship between these two tables then you need to tell cardinality so i'll talk about what is cardinality first let me establish so here let me select the department it means that in the first table department column is selected to establish a relation in the second table i am planning to select the column which is correct to establish a relation let me select here it means that relation has been established so here and make this relation is active if i click on okay then only it relationship will be established and saved otherwise till that particular uh, okay click there won't be any relation physically now now if you go to the 
uh, cardinality then we already talked about so one to many to one one to one and one to many so as i told you i have so departments uh, department 10 20 10 it means that one instance for department number i have multiple values in the employee table that is the reason why by default many to one is selected so my power bi uh, window it automatically does the data analysis and it automatically selects the cardinality it means that relationship between those two tables employee and department table so that is many to one so if you want if you don't want to go with many to one then you can go for one to one and one to many so we already talked about what is many to one it means that let me repeat many to one is nothing but many instance of employee number department number in the employee table and only one instance of uh, department number in the department table it is nothing but many to one so next one is what is the next one if you see here one to one means one instance in one table and other instance in the one table then one to many if you reverse these tables so first department table then employee table goes then one to many relationship happens so but based on the selection here many to one is suitable if you reverse the order first you select department number then if you come to the employee table then the cardinality is many to one so this is how we'll be establishing a relationship between the two tables a cross filter direction we'll talk about in the next video in the details way so once you are okay with the relations let's click on okay so once you click on okay you will get this window with a relationship table one and table two from table and two table click on close if you want to cross verify these relationships let's go to the relationships window in the left side so we already went last time let's click on the relationships here if you see the relationship has been happened between these two tables so this is how if you once you highlight it you can see what are all the columns which has been provided for the relation i just hover the relationship link then it automatically highlights the column names department from here and department from department number from this table so this is how we establish a relation so if you want to remove the relation simply select this right click and delete so this is how we delete the relationship between the tables so this is what about the complete relationships in the power bi so in the next video we'll talk about how to apply a cross filter that's it thank you for watching if you like our videos please subscribe and provide your valuable comments that's it